are with Michelle Ciccoloni, the author of The Italian Vegetable Cookbook. So today we are talking about unusual Italian vegetables mm -hmm. or vegetables that people may not associate with exactly. Italian cooking. This is one that a lot of people aren't familiar with. It's called cardoon, mm. and uh, it looks like celery, but you cook it, you need to cook it. it. It's one of those vegetables that shouldn't be eaten raw, mm. and it has so many different uses in Italian cooking. It's in the same family as artichokes, really? and it has a flavor like artichoke hearts. It's very delicious. Mm. And so what types of Italian dishes would you find cardoon in? There's a classic soup that they use cardoons in. Uh, once it's boiled, you can add it to a salad. Mm. It's usually done in a gratin mm. uh, with butter and cheese, and it makes a great oh. appetizer, just fried. So almost anything. Yeah, it, can it go. has a lot of uses. The zucchini flower, uh, for Italians, there's so much more. They eat the zucchini flowers, and mm. they fry them, and they stuff them, or you can steam them. Right. And they're very delicate tasting. Well, you can uh, cook it in risotto or in an omelet. It's fabulous. Or the, another part of the zucchini that most Americans aren't familiar with right. are the vines. It is um, just the tender parts of the zucchini vine, and it's added to soup. Now this is the lachinato kale. Right. And people love kale. People love kale. They it's, don't think of it as Italian. Exactly, but mm. you know, I never ate kale until I went to Italy. Really? And this was the type of kale that I found there. It's what we call the dinosaur kale. Mm. And uh, in Tuscany, it grows everywhere, and they use it a lot in soup. I've used it in risotto. It's wonderful. Right. I think the Italians do the most delicious mm. things with beets. For example, um, I make them into uh, gnocchi. When you use beets in your gnocchi instead of potatoes, it has that fabulous purple color. I do uh, the um, roasted beets with uh, an orange dressing, orange mm. juice and olive oil, which is very typical in Italy. And then I, uh, I serve that in a spear of endive very, very pretty, mm. and sprinkle it with a little bit of gorgonzola cheese. Oh, that'll make you popular at a dinner party. Oh, it's, you know, it's a wonderful appetizer yeah. that you can pass around. It's easy to eat, and it's very light. I have escarole. Mm. And this is a, a, a green vegetable that I think deserves to be better known. In Italy, in places in Italy, they stuff the escarole leaves mm. or they cook it into soup. Because right, most Americans, when they use escarole, they tend to use it as a salad as uh -huh. opposed to cooking it. Yeah, but no, it's a wonderful vegetable for cooking. There are a lot of different ways you can cook it. Saute it. Really, you can saute it any way that you would spinach. It'll take just a little bit longer to cook. Right. And uh, it, the flavor is great. Brussels sprouts are fabulous. I do, in the book, I do a wonderful recipe for farro, Brussels sprouts, sage, and garlic, and it's just delicious. And you know, if, if you have somebody who's, who's not crazy about Brussels sprouts, that's a wonderful way to introduce them to it. Final vegetable that I have is fennel, mm. and and again, this is a vegetable that most people think that you eat raw right. uh, in a salad, and it's wonderful in a salad, and it's very refreshing, especially right. after like a fish dinner or something. So you can braise it. It's great with Parmesan cheese. Mm. It's it's terrific with cream. There are many different ways to cook fennel. Oh, and I love to roast it very simply. Mm. Roast it with some potatoes and garlic, mm. and it's, it's a delicious combination. Well, thank you so much for giving us a little bit more variety to our Italian cooking. And obviously, if you want to pick up the book, it's the Italian Vegetable Cookbook. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Enjoy vegetables.